Here in the middle of Germany, the wooded hills of the Heinich region extend over an area of 160 square kilometers. High up in the trees, the canopy walkway offers a unique perspective on the broadleaf forest. More than 360,000 visitors come to the Heinich National Park each year. It really works. It's amazing to see how many different kinds of trees there are here. We tend to forget that. I really like it here. You feel like you're right in the midst of nature, on top of it, but in it all the same. I love the countryside, and this makes it look really great. It's beautiful here, especially in the sunshine like today. And the really special thing is that so high up here, the path is still wheelchair accessible. For centuries, large parts of the Heinich were used for forestry. And more recently, it housed a military training area for decades, before being turned into a national park in 1997. Since then, the core area has been reverting to primeval forest. Nature is being left alone. Here we've got a dead fallen tree. Dead wood is full of life. That is a slogan and we can see how true it is. This dead wood trunk is covered with moss, but there's something else looking out. A fungus that specializes in decaying hardwood. It's called the stag's horn fungus. And there is a whole range of funguses and insects as well that live off dead wood. So it's important to have forest structures like here in the Heinich National Park to offer these species a habitat. When woods in Central Europe are left to their own devices, they usually turn into beech forests. The beech trees compete successfully for the sunlight that ensures their growth. Imagine that it's foggy, which it sometimes is, and when you look at the forest structure in the background, you can imagine it as a typical German forest, where all those fairy tales originated. The woods are also magical in the springtime, when wild garlic and early flowering plants and trees adorn the forest floor, or in the autumn with its bright foliage. In 2011, the forest was added to the UNESCO World Heritage List. At the National Park Center in Teamsburg, visitors can learn all about the ecology of the forest habitat. A big attraction in the National Park are the wildcats. Around 30 of them live in Heinich. Visitors won't usually encounter the shy animals in the wild, but they can see them in the wildcat village in Hutscherode. Environmentalists have come up with an ingenious means to encourage wildcats to settle in forests throughout Germany. They've built protected corridors connecting the wooded areas. Germany's fragmented landscape gives the animals little chance of surviving long term. This project with the corridors is trying to enable these wild animals a chance to move around again in Germany. The Heinich National Park has all the conditions that can make it a paradise for wildcats as the forest is growing bigger every day.